The Pomani system monitor is composed of three parts, the LED photodiode component, the alarm, and the stand. Here we have the LED, which operates on the infrared spectrum. It is placed inside a protective casing so that it won't be moved around by the water bottle. On the other side of the stand, we have the receiver, which receives infrared signal from the LED. The bubbling within the water bottle disrupts the signal. If there's not enough bubbling, the signal is constant and an alarm will sound and alert technicians. In order to do this, we have to create signal processing circuitry. The signal from the light sensor goes directly into our analog front end, shown here in red, which amplifies the signal and filters out noise. Using a Textronic oscilloscope, we were able to monitor the state of the signal throughout the analog front end. The bottle is filled to the green level with different volumes of water based on the amount of pressure the technician wishes to deliver to the baby. Excess pressure is released through a control tube which sits inside the bottle, causing the bubbling. The stand holds the LED and photodiode at the right height for optimal signal and fits within the cavity of the existing system which enables our monitor to be used as an add-on in countries where the Pomani system is all already utilized. When our integrated stand is in place, the Pomani is set up following normal instructions. The blue line on the right shows the output of the analog front end, which increases when bubbling occurs. When that output falls below a reference voltage set by us, represented by the yellow line, the alarm is triggered after a short delay.